I'm leaving, it is not even six o'clock yet, maybe 540. And it's kind of weird out because it's only like 30 degrees or it is, yeah, it's like 30 degrees. So it's not super cold, but it's icy. My steps are like a sheet of ice. Let's see what the driveway is like. I'm scared. Oh, it's a little icy too. So this is going to be interesting. Okay. Watch. Kind of scared. I didn't realize it was going to be icy. Well, part of my other issue with leaving early like this is I never know where I should go. Should I stay on the main roads where there's cars and people? Or should I go where there are no cars and there's people, there's houses, but they're probably all sleeping. And especially now that the roads are icy, I don't know what to do. But I guess I'm gonna go and see how I feel, see how the roads are, like once I get to the main road. I can't believe how slippery it is. It's really dark out. This road is so slippery, so I'm gonna go and turn my light on so I can kind of see. So I'm in like mile three, nothing crazy happened. A bunny jumped out in front of me, gave me a heart attack. Other than that, it is just so slippery. I find like, if I stay to the side of the road, where all the like sand, dirt, leaves, and like tripping hazards are, it's not so bad. But otherwise, like, I'm afraid I'm gonna fall. It's crazy how slippery it is. Well, I survived 10 miles. I was slightly bummed that I left a little bit later than I had planned, but it's so slippery out there. If I was planning on doing more miles, I don't think I would have made it because that was, that was challenging. Sunday morning, about to do a long run, but I cannot find my flip belt anywhere. I don't know where it went. I had it yesterday. I have all my other stuff that I had on yesterday. I have my hat. My gloves, I hear somebody, I don't know what's going on, but I have my hat, my gloves, my jacket, like everything, my mace, I have everything except my flip belt. Where did it go? So I'm just going to put everything in my pockets and um, hope that it doesn't drive me nuts for 20 miles. My first thoughts this morning when my alarm clock went off were, I don't want to, you can't make me, I'm not getting up. Laid around for a little bit, played up my phone, started feeling a little bit better, got up, had some coffee, and here I am. Just hit mile 17, and I'm hoping to make it to 22. We'll see. Just hit mile 21, last mile. 22 miles, done. I didn't eat anything before I left this morning, and I only had four cliff blocks while I was out and I actually feel pretty good. So I probably could have gone further, but I decided 22 is good. I don't need to go further today. That's it. 22 miles, 909 pace, done. I was so hoping that I was gonna be under a nine minute pace, but that's all right. It was a good run. I met up with Jill for like seven miles. So it was pretty cool. Good job. It is Monday, February 3rd, and I am tired today. I didn't sleep well last night. There was a big dirt bike quad accident last night in town, and um, it just so happened like a bunch of the kids were my son's friends, and one of them is not really doing well, so I was kind of worrying about that, and uh, it's just too bad. Anyway, so today I'm going to go and do a speed workout, although I probably should not do it today because I ran 22 miles yesterday. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I'm going to get it started. My watch won't upload again from my, my phone, so I have the workout on my hand again. And um, if it feels not good, then I will just do it tomorrow, I guess. Either way, it's going to be hard no matter what day I do it, so whatever. All right, I am going. Peace out. I am finishing up 14 miles of my speed work that went okay. So just about done. It was a good run. My record. Fastest mile 635. That's not really accurate, but I'll take it. I've had faster miles. 
822 pace, 14.14. Done. It is Tuesday, February 4th, and I am just going out for some nice, easy miles that I am really looking forward to. So hopefully it's not an easy run that I struggle through, and it's an easy run that is 100% enjoyable. So let's see. I'm not sure how far I'm going to go. Probably between 10 and 13. Probably closer to 13. 13.1 miles done. It wasn't the easiest of runs. I was really kind of tired and sore and I started to wake up maybe like around mile nine so whatever it's done that's it bye 13.1 miles done 927 pace it is Wednesday February 5th and it's kind of crummy out today it was raining before luckily that stopped but it's supposed to I think it's supposed to get crappy tonight so I'm not really sure what the weather is going to be like tomorrow morning and I have a speed workout to do so I'm either going to do it on Friday or on the treadmill maybe but I don't know if I really want to do that so anyway I'm running and I don't know how far I'm gonna go today all right I am 10 miles in I will probably go to 13 that's it and a young girl stopped to see if I saw her dog. Apparently her dog ran away, so I'm on the lookout, but it was just over here and I didn't see him, so we'll 13. see. point one, done. It was a good run. Peace out. 13.2906 pace, done. All right, so it's Thursday and there's no snow today. Like I was kind of hoping that there was gonna be a delay for my kids, but no. But the weather is disgusting and it is perfect procrastination weather because that's what I've been doing. So I gotta get going. I have to do a like a tempo run today. I'm gonna to warm up for three miles. Then I'm gonna run about 30 minutes at 7.30 pace and then I'm gonna cool down, but I'll probably go a little bit further than that. So let's get moving. And it's, it's funny because I was thinking like if somebody were to ask me how my training is going for this cycle, I would say, I don't really know. It's going, I just don't know how. I'm not really sure. I don't know, it's weird. I'm kind of feeling like I don't really have big expectations for Boston this year, but I want to, but I, I just don't know, it's really weird. All right, I gotta go, it's cold. Are those raindrops or tears? I can't tell. So I wiped my nose and I yanked my nose ring right out. So I'm heading into my last mile. I'm gonna hurry to get back home, try to get it back in because I stopped for a minute, but I couldn't do it. So I need a mirror and two hands. It is Friday, February 7th, and my oldest is home sick. And I keep talking to people and they keep telling me that Everybody's got the flu, the flu, the flu, the flu. So I'm really praying that he does not have the flu. So I think I'm gonna run and then when I get back, I'm gonna call the pediatrician and see if I should bring him in or what, but I don't want the flu. We don't need the flu. Please, dear God, don't let it be the flu. All right, I'm gonna go do some easy miles. I have to be back by nine because my husband is leaving and uh, that's it. Today is just as miserable as it was yesterday. Only maybe it might be a little bit warmer. Yuck. Today's a mental toughness day. I was ready to be done by like five miles. Decided I would go to 10. Got to 10, I said, all right, three more. You can do this. So here I am finishing, finishing up almost mile 13. Today, this weather sucks was rough and miserable. It's really starting to rain right now. Thank God I just got done. Yuck. 13.1918 pace. This was miserable. Miserable run, but I'm done. Thank God. Now I'm gonna go check on my son. It's Saturday. It's like six o'clock and it's only like 24 degrees out so I'm really not in any rush to go but I gotta get moving because the kids have basketball today and I already had a dream look at my eyes oh my gosh I already had a dream that um I was late for their game so I think I need an eye lift so I don't want to be late so I gotta get going 
I've got a lot to do today. So starting out with like 10 or 11 miles, then my kids have basketball. Then we are recording another episode of our podcast with my brother-in-law, who is a cardiologist. So we'll be talking about all sorts of health, heart health stuff. 11 miles done. Overall pace was 8.39 and it was a good run. So I'm back. It's kind of amazing to me like how fast the miles go by. Like when I first started, I was like, oh my gosh, 11 miles. But then by the time I was done, I was like, wow, I can't believe I'm already like done. So now to get ready for basketball. There's little otters in the pond. There's three of them. It's Sunday. It's cold. I'm heading out to go find Jill. Brr. And there were otters just playing in my pond. They're so cute. I just hit mile six. Hopefully I should find Jill within the next two miles. Stop thinking about potatoes. I really want a potato. Like a baked potato, mashed potato, home fries, something. I think I'm gonna do that later. I'm hungry. So Jill wasn't ready. I had to switch my route up a little bit so I'll still pick her up. But my next like two miles are going to be pretty much all uphill. I'm not really looking forward to this one. Oh, here we go. On Jill. Yay. All right, I did about 11 miles with Jill. I'm heading home on my last mile. At 22.28, so I will definitely be at 23. 23 miles done, and it just started to flurry a little bit, so that's fun. Three miles, 9.23 pace. Now I'm gonna go make some potatoes. I really want potatoes. I'm trying to climb up the stairs, it's you know not exactly easy after 23 miles, but look at it's snowing! Yay! You see it? Today is Monday and I am running some fart legs today. I know it's a funny word, but it's a fun workout. Only my stomach is a mess today. I think I ate too many mashed potatoes yesterday. All right, hopefully this will go okay. I have to do five sets by five minutes each at 6.31 pace, then jog for three minutes in between each one. Well, my fart licks are done and they, I don't think one of them was where it should be pace wise. So kind of sucked, but uh, it's done. I think next week I might switch my workout to Tuesday instead of the day after a long run and see if that changes anything. Whew, all right, I'm just recovering. And then I'm gonna start my cool down. 13.1859 pace. Wah, wah, wah. I think next week after I do my long run on Sunday, I'm gonna do like easy recovery miles on Monday and then switch my workout to Tuesday and see if that helps at all. We'll see, hopefully it does. But anyhow, I'm done. I'm gonna go warm up and uh, eat something. No mashed potatoes though. I'm gonna be a whiny crybaby right now, but it's raining and gross out again. Why? I just want it to be nice and warm and uh, it's not. But I don't know how many miles I'm going to do today. Probably at least like 13. I keep thinking I'm going to cut back a little bit. So maybe I'll only do like 10. We'll see. All right. I got to get going. Today's run was lovely despite the weather, but I decided that I was going to stop at 12 miles today really for no reason except that I want to. So I'm just about done finishing up my last mile. That's it. Today I went to 12 miles just because, I don't know, I decided to cut it like a mile or two short. I hope I don't end up regretting it, but it's only a mile or two, so really, it's probably not that big of a deal. Anyhow, I'm done, I'm wet, I'm hungry, I'm going in. Bye. 12 miles, 9.13 pace. Done.